the two back. Joe Stevens Road. I have a number of things to address tonight. Number one is you all were given handouts just prior to this meeting. As I understand from Ms. Bowman, I asked her, she said they were not online. I asked Mr. Britton, who has extra copies, if I could have copies, and he refused simply because he doesn't want to provide them. And really, it doesn't matter whether they're online or not. Nobody can have time to do all that and copy them. But when you come to a meeting and you don't are not allowed to know what's going on until presumably it flashes on the screen, how can you comment about something you haven't seen? In fact, how can you all vote on something that you've just been handed, although you do it quite often? That's issue number one. They're public documents. Mr. Britton refused to allow a citizen to see them. Number two, I'm going to address the camera issue. This time I am not moving to the back of the room. I don't believe your policy is legal. I don't believe you have the proper authority to enforce something when if there is no threat to public safety by that camera, nor is there any disruption of the meeting, the orderly conduct of this meeting, by that camera sitting over there. In fact, I don't know, I guess I look at this and I'm thinking, my father fought in World War II. He was in the Pacific. We've got D-Day coming up, 75th anniversary in just a few days. We just had Memorial Day. We've got July 4th coming up. Why is our government trying to put a camera in the back of a room when, all, when our history is about openness, patriotism, honor, integrity, justice, fairness? I don't understand why you ever voted as you did but I don't think it's correct, and I'll leave it to you as to how to enforce it. As, what was it, eight? I think it was Andrew Jackson that said, Mr. Marshall, you made your law, now enforce it. I hope you won't attempt to enforce a law that is so questionable, or a policy guideline, that seeks to put cameras in the back of the room. Thank you. You know, you talk about the uh, military damage and military stuff. No one, very few people in this county spend more time in the military than I have. Okay? And I am from Fort Openness, and I think you should be in the back room, and I think our sheriff will sit right over there, and his chief should go ahead and enforce that policy. It's a policy for this court that we voted on. Is it legal? Yes, it's legal. And it needs to be upheld. I'm tired of people just sitting around to let people do whatever, and, I, and I'm tired of it. If that's the policy, it needs to happen. So, Sheriff, I'm asking if you would enforce that policy. I'd be happy to address this. When the chairman of this county commissioner goes to see Teresa West and get a court order, something that is legal on my behalf, I'll be happy to serve it on this board. Then. So you're saying it's gonna, you have to have a portal? That's all I gotta say, Mr. Thorns. So you say you have to have a portal. So someone brought a gun and you're threatening everybody. Oh wait, we gotta have a portal. Order. Thank you. What's the problem? They, the that's not the issue. Jesus. It's 
not it's not the issue either. What's wrong with it? A lot. I sit right here right beside of you. It ain't bothering you a bit. And I'd tell you if it was. I don't know if it's bothering anybody. Well, our policies don't, sure don't mean a thing. Our policies don't mean a thing. Just uphold the policies that you want. It don't matter. What is the will of the committee? I voted that she can move it. The will of the committee wants it to be enforced, but the sheriff doesn't want it. He will enforce it if we get a court order, so we will seek legal advice from our attorney and go from there. Do you have any additional visitors wishing to address the committee? In the old business? It's me. I'm sorry. Please. Will you hold that for me? My name is Gwendolyn Holden. I live at 2343 Supper Springs Road. I'm a taxpayer. I've been coming to these meetings for seven years, looking for justice. But I don't think there is any. Not here on earth. Maybe one day, but not now. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings or be mean to anybody. I just want to get the truth. And I, want, I wish people would get more involved. <coughs> Our taxpayers need to be involved. They need to see how you people work and how you do with our tax dollars. You are so far in debt you'll never get out. That's no way to run a government. We can't run our homes like that. You all shouldn't run the government like that. It's our tax dollars. We can't even get our roads fixed. <laughs> we got potholes as big as my head. And every time trucks go by out on Pine Brook Road, you can hear them coming. You can hear them. You can't even sit out in your yard and feast after you've worked all day to get your yard looking pretty and get everything looking nice. I mean, it's a shame. It's a shame the way our county has become. And I've lived here all my life. And I've worked. I've never asked the government for nothing. <coughs> Welfare stamps, food stamps, or anything. I've worked at minimum wage jobs. I'm blessed. Thank you, Jesus. It's because of him, not because of you all, or taxpayers. It's because of Jesus. And I thank him for it. He knows I do. He's a good God. He loves us when we're not even lovable. He even loves you when you do wrong. I don't. I don't like it when people lie to me and don't tell the truth. God knows when you do and when you don't. I'm not your judge, but the Bible says I can be a fruit inspector, and I and I and I, I need my fruit checked too, because people make me mad. But you know, we need to be smarter with our tax dollars. And please don't take the camera away. We're not hurting anybody. We're just wanting people to see the truth. And if you're afraid of the truth. You need to repent. Thank you, Tina. Do you have any additional visitors to address All right. In old business, um, our 3A is general fund, general debt fund. Mayor Britton. What... Um, the next step in the budget process is for us. Now, everybody's today is start, starting to make decisions on some individual items within the budget. Uh, all the departments' budgets have been presented. And uh, just want to go through a few things that we mentioned on the very first day of the budget process that it's a fluid process that the budget, uh, there's different information and things change. Uh, and so, what uh, I want to do briefly is just go over and it's in the presentation that's, that's at your desk. Um, so some items that have changed in, in the budget document and where we are. Um, on the first slide, no. on the first slide, um, we estimate that we'll finish this year with uh, $688,511 in the black. 
So we'll finish uh, to a positive note there. We'll finish the budget process just to kind of let you see, especially uh, the folks of you who are doing your first budget, that uh, budgets are blueprints, are spending blueprints and revenue blueprints. And last year we finished the process uh, estimating that we finished the year with uh, $62,000 in the black. And so we're going to finish more like $688,000 in the black. Because our theory has always been through years to estimate revenue low and expenditure high. And uh, we don't spend all the money in the budget, so uh, that's, that's why uh, usually uh, all but um, there have been a couple of years where we've had some finished in, in the red in the general fund, but most of the time we finish in the black. A fund balance will finish this year about $5.75 million. Uh, so that's how that's that's the starting point um, for this budget. We've made um, a few changes in the budget document based on new information and new requests from or change requests from, from different departments. Um, the budget deficit is at 632690 is the general fund budget deficit where we are entering to tonight. Uh, and that will finish the, fund, the year, next year, with a fund balance of about $5.1 million. If you look at your next page, you'll see some of the changes. We, um, we updated revenues. We went through all the revenues for the general fund, updated those uh, with another month's worth of actual data, and then also moved the three cents uh, from the tax rate from schools that you voted on last week. So there's uh, $411,000 more dollars in the current year of property tax line. Uh, we reduced the code enforcement salary that was in the proposal to $35,000. Uh, we eliminated the full-time uh, juvenile court clerk position and instead we added, we added eight hours to the part-time juvenile court clerk, making it 29 hours. And then we added 29 hours to a part-time cost collection. Now on the cost collection clerk, there's corresponding revenue um, to make it a wash for, for that position. And we really uh, don't have uh, the data to know exactly how much the budget on the revenue side. So that's one, one area that we think that we've under budgeted on the revenue side. And uh, but we have covered the cost of this position with, on the revenue side. We've added $15,000 in the gasoline line for the Sheriff's Department, their request. Uh, we had budgeted, in, in the budget document, uh, we had budgeted flat. Um, we included the, the full uh, library request at 15350 uh, so that uh, all the part-time folks for the library can earn at least $10, $10 an hour, and the other folks can get us two and a half percent raise. We removed the courthouse roof replacement $45,000, we had budgeted it the last two years and hadn't used it. Actually, we repaired the roof at a cost of about $4,500. So we removed it, but if we need it, if we need to replace the roof, we'll come and ask for it. Um, we added, there, there's a law that passed in the state legislature this session that um, previously, uh, when Judge Collins required a, a uh, indigent person to use uh, a patch or, or some kind of, of monitor uh, alcohol, if it was a DUI finger, use some kind of alcohol or, or drug monitor device, and the person was <coughs> indigent, then the state paid for it all. Well, the state indigent uh, fund ran out of money, so the legislature uh, passed a bill this year which the counties for misdemeanor offenders um, have to pay half of it. So uh, we've added a ten thousand uh, dollars for that um, and so that, that's added since uh, we first introduced the general fund budget to you. Also we're still negotiating in our liability and working with comp insurance but we have increased <coughs> those budgets uh, out of anticipation that uh, our premiums will go up uh, according to indications we've gotten from the insurance folks. So that's just a brief summary of the general fund. Uh, what, I, I, what the process has been in the past few years is the next step, 
issue is for, for you guys to start voting up or down on different lines. And uh, at your seat, there should be a spreadsheet. <coughs> and, uh, and what this spreadsheet does is it allows you to... Get the switch right here. It allows you to track uh, the deficit as you make decisions. Uh, you see the deficit. Um, look at the, the if you look at the screen, or you can look on your, your sheets as well. The the column that has the colored lines in it. If you look above that, you see the six hundred thirty-two thousand six nine in brackets. Okay, that's the deficit where we are. So as you make as you make decisions, if it's different from what's in the column on the on the left, then it'll be adjusted when we enter the data in the colored block. So um, so we'll follow that. So so that's how we use this. Is, is we it allows you to track where you are as far as. Uh, the budget, whether it's a positive or a negative. Yeah, all three pages, that's, that's how much we did, 632, 60. Yes. Well, it's, it's the whole budget. But these are the items that have significant increases or new additions. It's not all the increases. There are some small increases or decreases, and they're not on here. This is just some significant, they'll make a difference. I guess we will go out each item. Yes, sir. That's, that's, the, that's the plan. Any questions on that? So, Mr. Chairman, the first item would be the 3% total, which would be 235081. That includes taxes and CCRS. That includes all costs. Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve. Motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Who is the second? Um, any discussion? Do we need to require discussion on each point at home? I think it probably would be. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and we also, we're prepared to roll call though, if that's what you want to do. <clears throat> right. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Uh, <clears throat> opposition, like sign. Motion carries. The next item is um, the office renovation for the election commission. That's new flooring and new desks for the election commission. Eighty-five hundred dollars. Do we have a motion for approval? So moved. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Motion okay. is second. Any discussion? Discussion. What are you doing to the floor? I guess we got beds on this. We will. Well, we will. I mean, we won't get, it's not, bids, you get bids at over, I mean, where you publish and all that over $10,000. For a project this size, you get quotes. We go to seek three quotes. I remember that renovation of the floor, but I don't remember the desk. that been added? No. It's not as part of it. That desk was in the floor. To, to replace the county. <coughs> I know. Jeff, now, Jeff. I'm assuming up the, the price estimate. Any further discussion? Hard to vote on the job, but he's going to go. Well, he's estimating the whole thing to be 85. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Opposition, like sign? Aye. Motion carries. Next is the full time position for the Registry of Deeds Office. Jim's here to address that. You need him to do that. Mr. Chairman, I make the motion to accept this one person that he's had for 11 years. We have a motion. We've got a second from Chris Tuchel. Do we have any discussion? If not, all in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Any opposition? Motion carries. Next is additional part-time hours for the Registry of Deeds Office at 
minus $68. That's with payroll taxes included. Have a motion for approval? Yes. Then a motion and a second. Any discussion? Chris Shaw does a second. Seeing no discussion, all in favor, let it be known to say aye. Aye. Any opposition, like sign? Motion carries. If there's any change, or what, if, 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 if it's, let's say it's reduced or it's zeroed out, then it changes it. If it's, everything's voted as is, then it doesn't change it. And as you make your motions in second, please speak up so we can get the, get it on record. Right, the next item is uh, increase of maintenance agreements for the, uh, Tax collection software for the trustee's office at twelve thousand four hundred dollars. What's that for? For his his software system that he collects taxes and does his bookkeeping on. I move it be approved. Got a motion? Do we have a second? Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Any opposition? Motion carries. The next item in the trustee's office is an increase in office equipment of $11,000 to purchase scanners where um, they'll still have the ability to scan the checks that folks uh, use to pay the taxes and they'll be uh, deposited to the bank electronically. Got a motion? Do we have a second? Aye. Uh, no. Mr. Acker, I think it was this one. Uh, any discussion? All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Any opposition, like sign? Motion carries. <coughs> the next item is uh, additional part-time hours that I discussed in, in the, in the uh, overview or in the summary. It adds eight hours for uh, the juvenile court clerk and it creates a 29-hour part-time position uh, for uh, cost collection. And the cost collections offset on the revenue. Motion. Yeah, motion, second. And a second. Motion was uh, Commissioner Huston. Second, Commissioner Hahn. Any discussion? All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Any opposition? Motion carries. Next item is drug court and it's the converting the part-time position to a full-time position at the cost of all in insurance, payroll taxes, all benefits of 27864. We have a motion to approve. We have a second. Joe Huntsman. Mayor Brennan, this was the one that actually saved the county money by doing more of this, correct? The offset was more substantial than the um, uh, increase in even the cost of it. I think that was the deal with Josh. That was okay. Alright. Now Barbara Horton here. <coughs> if you have any questions. I have a motion and a second. Do we have any discussion? All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Uh, any opposition? Motion carries. The next item is veteran service officer increases um, Timothy Williams pay from $14 to $15 an hour, and then uh, he's working three eight-hour days now. We would extend his time to four seven-and-a-half-hour days, so he'd be a 30-hour employee, um, cost of uh, $9,980. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. We have a second. Any discussion? Does he get insurance from the through the Yeah, he and I talked about it. <coughs> He would have access to the clinic. Okay. What would it cost us to have a uh, VA office run on a 40 hour basis weekly? I don't know the time. answer to that. Is it even necessary? Yeah, to I would think it was. Uh, we can calculate that, Taylor. We don't know off the top of our heads. But th this takes us to four days, and that's the most it's ever been. Mm -hmm. it's, it's four full days. And then apparently, that's what he wants. He's good. I talked to him. Yeah. 
Next item is courtroom security, the increase of overtime from $60,000 to $80,000, uh, increase of $20,000. Why is that? Well, that's your opinion. Overtime for the, the part-time is the mental transport is transporting uh, for from different jails. We have a lot of different, there's a lot of variables too. Uh, for example, I've had like six hours of sleep because we had to go to San Antonio to pick up a <coughs> child plus. We, we don't have an off time. We've got to go. And how do you plan for that? You know, it's several years ago, but they located him because of a background check. You know, there's, there's, there's no way to plan for that. We document all of our transports keep up with knowledge, we keep up with hours. Uh, we can just play on you know, the time. We won't let anybody wants to come and sit down with you know, so. Question, why, why is that in front of courtroom security then if you're transporting? We have two items here. One of security and the other is uh, uh, Sheriff's Department. Uh, so we're talking half dirty courtroom security. There will be overtime in three different departments. That'll be addressed in courtroom security. <clears throat> That's who does the transport. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's not to say patrol wouldn't have to help this occasionally. The thing about it is, these transports don't come at one a day. If you start looking at it as one mental transport a day, they come in four or five a day at different times. You may have a day you don't have nothing, but then you might have seven. It speaks to the family. And that's, that's the hard thing we're planning for. We have a motion to approve a second. We've got a second. Any other discussion? <coughs> if not all in favor, let it be known as saying aye. Aye. Uh, opposition, like sign. Motion carries. The next item is overtime for the sheriff's department. That's an increase from 125 to 160, and that's $35,000. A motion to approve. Uh, any second? Second. Yeah, second. Any discussion? Discussion. Is this overtime for the jail or just the transport? No, uh, this this is overtime for patrol. For patrol. Yes. <coughs> it doesn't say. Here. There's also out of the sheriff's budget. You have patrol. You have detectives. You have narcotics, they're all paid out of that budget and out of that overtime line. Not just not just patrols, but detectives and narcotics. It's also court. Got a motion to accept. Do we have a second? I'm sorry. Any discussion? All in favor, let it know. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Any opposition? Motion carries. Okay, the next item in the Sheriff's Department is increase in vehicle maintenance from $65,000 to $85,000 to $20,000 increase. We have a motion to approve. So moved. We got a motion. Do we have a second? Sure. Motion to second. Any discussion? Yeah. You know, $85,000 for a fairly new vehicle. A lot of maintenance for some reason. That's that's what three four cars. That's just extremely high, I believe. May I address the commission? Sure. Yes. A few years ago, when designated the fleet plan, it was just at the point where it's going to begin to work, and it was voted to do away with. So that's the reason we are back to just buying vehicles we need. And this maintenance, obviously, is not on the new vehicles. It's on the old vehicles that we are having to keep now because we don't have the fleet plan anymore. So therefore, if we have vehicles on the road with over 200,000 miles on them, we keep maintenance up on them or they wouldn't be on the road. So 
So it's a constant demand on maintaining those old vehicles. And, and they you got major truckers on these? Sir? You got major truckers on these? Yes. Of course we do. I'm military too. I'm military too, sorry. Um, yeah, I've been there a couple years Hey, you got, uh, can we get them uh, records on that? You're entitled to anything we got over there. Just come on over. Any further discussion? If not, all in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Any opposition? Motion carries. <coughs> Next is travel from the Sheriff's Department increase of $10,000 from $35,000 to $45,000. We have a motion to accept. So moved. We have a second. Second. Yes. Motion second. Get that. Uh, any discussion? <coughs> if not, all in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Any opposition? Like sign. Motion carries. Next item is increase in gasoline for the sheriff's department from one ten to one twenty five to fifteen thousand dollars. We have a motion to approve. We have a motion to approve. We got a second. <coughs> Any discussion? All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Any opposition? Motion carries. Next item is uh, tires and tubes, increase of $8,000 from $22,000 to $30,000. Motion to approve. Motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Any opposition? Motion carries. Next item is um, on the second page is law enforcement equipment from $34,060 to $40,000, dollars increase. Do we have a motion to approve? A motion. We have a second. Any discussion? Go ahead, Taylor Ward. Give a second. What is that? Uh, what is that there from there? $5,900. That covers our equipment, uh, like the replacement of radar units. A lot of our radar units are getting old, they don't work. One of the main things we get from the public is calling about speeding and stuff. I can't write tickets if I don't have radars. All in favor? Uh, any further discussion? We try to change that for you, one. <laughs> now the city's got cameras. I don't think we need the funding or whatever. Let it be known that the county does not have cameras of any kind, speed traps or otherwise. We do not have cameras in in the county. Amen. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Uh, any opposition? Motion carries. Next is Sheriff's Department capital request. Um, you have a list here of six uh, vehicle cameras, 15 body cameras, 32 MDT vehicle mounts, and 32 bulletproof vests for a total of $67,006. A motion to approve. We got a motion. Do we have a second? Chris Ketchow has a second. Right. Questions? <coughs> Vehicle mounts, $16,000. How many vehicles that for? Six? Or it's $3,000 per piece? It says 32 on the point. 32. It says 32. I read it down what it says. Is that just to hold it? Your uh, computer in the car? <laughs> anyway, we'll address that. Come here. Uh, you got to consider these cars, these computers are very heavy out there. And if you're having to go to an emergency call at a high rate of speed, you don't want that thing popping around in your car. You don't want a cheap piece of plastic holding that in there because it's going to break loose and it's going to flip some You've got to have a, a decent piece of equipment that's going to keep that piece of equipment. Not to mention, this is just the mounts. We actually went through a 1033 program to get computers, so we didn't have to buy computers. So these are the mounts, and they're universal mounts. Prior to me, there was you know, mounts off that were only fitted to that particular computer. We can have universal now. So if we change our computers, and I know everybody's had to buy them by the time, this will be a universal now that should work with, you know, the equipment and the equipment. Thank you. Any other discussion? Any further discussion? Motion carries. 
So your, your old mount will not work. They, they work for that particular computer. Now uh, you've got new computers, so yes. you've got to put mounts. We've got new computers got. for shipping. There's all kinds of companies over now. If you, if there's a thing too, you get into that liability. If you build a mount, uh, you know, maintenance will probably blow us up a piece of metal and put some bolts and put your bolts in there, then the liability goes to maintenance. If a mount breaks, you know, there's something to go back on at that time. Thank you. We got a motion and a second. We have any further discussion? If not, all in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Any opposition, like sign. Motion carries. Okay, six patrol cars, five Durangos were requested, and one Dodge Charger for a total of $227,000. To approve, do we have a second meeting? Taylor Ward is second. Discussion? Why? Why one Durango? Rest of the charge. Five Durangos, one charge. Five Durangos, one charge. Yeah, five Durangos, one charge. Why one charge? $7,000 difference. Right. So when we were looking at cars, uh, we started out, we were going to get Dodge Chargers. The Dodge Charger is coming to an end. Uh, Chrysler says 2020 is the last year for it. So that limits our options uh, to the Durango, the Ford Explorer Interceptor. That's really all you, the only two options you've got now after the Charger goes out of service. Uh, all ready to use for, for patrolmen on the beach? For patrol and court security. And what? Court security. Security. What sort of court security are you using for? Transport. Transport. Transport be here. Yeah. But, hey, Wayne, let, let me explain it real quick. I didn't want to get into a lengthy explanation. All of, all of your patrol and court security are all post-certified officers, with the exception of part-time. Court security in itself is simply an assignment to a patrolman. Those nine officers that are in court security are assigned to court security. Otherwise, they would be, like any other patrol law enforcement officer or detective or anything. They're all post-certified law enforcement. And, and it's court security is just simply assignment. If they're not on transport and they're not working, they're not having to work the courtroom, then they, we put them out and try to supplement our patrol when the call volume is heavy with some of the court security officers. Now, because of our transports, that don't happen very often, but they do help serve papers and do other things besides transport and, and work court. If that makes sense. Transport in made sense. You can take this down to Knoxville, Chattanooga, this vehicle. Yeah. Is there any option of reducing the number of cars? What we're trying to do is replace out all of the vehicles that are upward of 140 or better because if we order these when the budget goes in, it'll probably be next March before these vehicles get in here. So the vehicles now that are upward 140, they're going to be probably over 200 by the time I get these vehicles in. And you have to order it all at once. Correct. You can't stagger these out or we've already staggered these. You 
when, when they came up with the, the whole purpose of the fleet plan was to stagger the vehicles that you all did away with. I mean, we were buying an entire fleet at one time every five years. Then the county commission wanted us to change that and stagger it so they were only buying seven vehicles. We did that, then you did away with the fleet plan. Now we're just trying to replace out our oldest vehicles. That's still on a yearly basis, though, right? Yeah. If it looks like a quarter million dollar bottle of money to spend on a vehicle, and then you find other cars for the year, a lot of money, waste money, and lots of things. Any further discussion? All in favor, let us be known by saying aye. 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 Opposition? Aye. Motion carries. Next item is in the jail. It's um, pay increases that were approved mid-year, this year. And this is for the sergeant's line in uh, $10,722. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. I second. Okay. Um, the board was first to draw. Um, any discussion? All in favor, let me know to say aye. Uh, Opposition, like sign. Motion carries. Next line is the pay increases for it's the guards line in the jail. Pay increases that were approved mid year uh, 112, 614. Motion to approve. A motion to approve and a second. That's the same as last time. And do we have uh, any discussion? If not, all in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Uh, the opposition, like signed. Motion carries. Also in the jail, a maintenance agreement increase for the video surveillance system from thirty to fifty thousand dollars. That's a twenty thousand dollar increase. Do we have a motion to approve? And I can vote. Do we have a second? Second. Let's a second? Any discussion? Yeah. We're talking about. Uh, the maintenance agreement increase. What, what exactly are we talking about there? You know. Okay.
but uh, this year we'll spend about one and a half, 1.4, 1.5 million dollars in inmate medical. And so this is an attempt to get us back. But, uh, is that for employees? No. Is there jail? Is there anything that can be done to address that? I mean, we've, we've gone to a new vendor. Um, we, uh, we've gotten some mental health services in this contract. Um, we've got 24-hour nursing in this contract. Um, what, what we've tried, tried to do and worked on is trying to avoid hospital visits. And so what percentage that was of this cost? No, I don't know. Do we have a motion to approve? We have a motion. We've got a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Any opposition? Motion carries. I think two. Uh, Chairman, his numbers. Numbers. That's half your. Here. That's half your money right there. Get six hundred thousand. That's half of it. One shot. And food supplies is next. Uh, again, another line that we historically have under budgeted because we had money to move at the end of the year. Um, we're increasing that to 525,125. Do we have a motion? <coughs> so moved. We got a motion to the board to second. Any discussion? Wait. Is that your new vendor you've got? So that new vendor is going to cost us another no, 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 no. It's not the vendor. Like that. It, we're, we're just more, we're more accurately budgeting what our costs are rather than. Purpose, purposefully underbudgeting. Underbudgeting. <coughs> That's what we're, historically we've underbudgeted <coughs> food, inmate food. Because we've had money, we know we would have money to move to cover any overage. That wasn't because the other, the other food stand was cheaper. Uh, no. no. I still want to see the savings in this. Well, they, they told me they've been there since mid-January, so we're, we're monitoring it, and there were the first couple of months, first 90 days, there were some things we had to, to, to tweak and uh, take our <coughs> kitchen staff has done a good job working with these folks. And would we have historically under budgeted? Do, will we still have that same um, inability to replace? We'll, we'll have, it's my, it's my prediction, we'll have funds available in the guard line to use if we need it. Before you go on the fund now. And should we utilize some of that to offset some of the 625, let's see, 32 or so?
Now the sheriff, the sheriff's department asked for the jail asked for one point two, and we just bumped it down to one point one. But it's still probably if if, if the years they run the community is still probably over that one point four, and the guards line it can still be used to make that up. Okay. A motion and a second. Any further discussion? If not, all in favor, let me know by saying aye. Aye. Any opposition? <coughs> motion carries. All right. The next, the next line uh, is uh, under the work program budget. It's the jail work program. Um, it's an increase of funding of, of thirty-one thousand two hundred fifty dollars. And the way that's broken down is uh, our our funding this year has been sixty thousand dollars, and so we would increase that to seventy-five thousand, and then uh, to keep the program the way it is, uh, it's got to go about thirty-two participants a year, and then uh, to grow the program uh, to forty participants a year using the ARC grant if we get it, and we'll know that in September. Uh, then it would take another sixteen thousand two fifty plus. Uh, a match from the city of Morristown, which in their budget they're voting on today, they have 16250 in their budget too. So our total local increase is 31250 And we will and we will pay we now of the of all that expense, thirty five thousand dollars of that is paid out of DUI treatment funds, which are fines collected from DUI offenders uh, that is restricted for the use of this type of program. And then also the felons that are uh, in this program are moved from the jail and are moved to this program. We continue to get paid from the Department of Corrections for those folks. So this this program largely pays for itself. Just the letters picked up. No, this is these are the ladies that go it's a residential program in Helen Rossman Mad. Where they have about eight weeks of uh, drug and alcohol treatment and uh, life skills training, and then they spend another uh, four to five weeks on the job site They're working. They, they start work, and then after that 13 weeks, then they move to a transitional house and spend another four months working. Is that how many cases in it? There's eight at a time. In a, in a year, in a year's time, there's 40. 40. I wonder how you don't get caught up on it. No more than that. So it's it's if you if you do the math, um, it's cost per day. It's cheaper this program than keep them in jail. Do you have a motion? Yeah. Yeah. Motion. Do we have a second? second. Motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor, let me know by saying aye. Aye. The opposition, white sign. Motion carries. And, and we are purposefully, and this next item goes along with it, purposefully looking at, at programs and programming to, to uh, keep people out of jail because of our population. And uh, Judge Collins uses some drug and alcohol uh, monitoring programs, and that's what this next ten thousand dollars is it's for that state funded program. Um, the, the law change requires the locals to match it fifty percent and we're asking for ten thousand dollars. We have a motion. We have a motion, Chris Cutshaw. Okay. Second. We have a motion for Chris Cutshaw. Any discussion? Uh, I, this I, one seems to make more sense than a lot of programs that <coughs> It, it does. Uh, I think it does. Uh, before we, yeah. I don't know if it's the right time, but Barrett, let me ask you a question. Uh, west, talk to a sheriff, but he might need to retire military to get a sheriff. They went to a metro system for their police department. We spent so much money in our police department, and the city pays so much money there. Do you not think it would be cheaper and this would be a perfect time to start thinking about a metro police department here in the first place? If you you go to that answer, <coughs> it's not pending. When, when you look at metro government in general, that's one of the hardest nuts to try, crack is the right. law enforcement. So 
it's just we've doubled so much, you know, and, and people, people in the cities doubling, it seems like their taxes and everything, trying to keep up with their There's some other services as well. Right, there are. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Any opposition? Motion carries. The next item is the Cherokee Park increase in overtime of uh, $8,920. And a motion. We got a second from Mr. Doty. All any any additional discussion? If not, all in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Motion carries. The Cherokee Park electricity, uh, $8,000 increase in electricity. Why is that going? They say a fee. I mean, we generate, what did I show you guys? It's about 100 and, it's 125000 in camping. Probably $150,000, $170,000 in revenue at the parks. Can't we pass them fees on to the people that's using the park? Yeah, County won't have to eat this. <coughs> it's not the campers. We've increased it ourselves. We built a veteran pavilion and a splash pad. And that's where your increase is going. Right there. It's splash pad at night? Huh? Do they splash pad at night when you think they're going to have life? That's probably no, no, but it runs 24 hours a day when it's in season. Do you have a motion to approve? We got a motion. We got a second. Any discussion? All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Any opposition? Motion carries. Water and sewer charges an increase of ten thousand dollars. Motion to approve. Thank you. A motion. From Mr. Doty. We have a second. Go to Any discussion? All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Uh, Any opposition? Capital <coughs> carries. And the capital projects for Cherokee Park, you have um, a mower, a new mower at 14000 a new tractor at 24000 a used uh, 4x4 pickup at twenty, and then transferring $10,000 from the operating budget to $10,000 to the capital budget for a campground upgrade. And that's a total of sixty. Motion approved. And a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Uh, Any discussion? Question. What kind of tractor is that for 24 pounds? Well, it, it's uh, at least a 35 horsepower and four wheel drive. It, it won't be that much because I've got a tractor to trade in, I've got a mower to trade in, and I've got a truck to trade in. Well, I mean, so most figures won't be that high. Well, the, the expense may be, but we've got corresponding revenue for those sales on the revenue side. Yeah. So we've got $20,000 in revenue in the budget for sale of the surplus. You get your increase for $68,000. Correct. Do we have a motion? We got a motion, we have a second, Tim Warner. Any discussion? If not, all in favor, let me know to say aye. Aye. Any opposition? Motion carries. So the next item is uh, Marshland Parks and Recreation requested $500,000. We put $200,000 in the budget. Um, Craig Price is here to answer any questions if you have any. No, no, that's for that's current. That's current. That's current. Do we have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to give the same that we've been given $200,000 not $500,000. Mr. We got a motion and a second. All in favor? Let it be known. Oh, I'm sorry, discussion. I think we're uh, taking a service right here that's uh, being widely used by a great number of people in our county. And I say county, I know the cities in their office. Uh, I don't think that uh, you can 
get this kind of service anywhere else. I think uh, Mr. Price done an outstanding job in running the rec department and making recreation available from kids all the way up to old guys and ladies. Uh, it's very expensive. Things keep going up. You got to look at everything he has to do with equipment, uh, salaries, the whole gamut. So I think we sure need to consider an increase, not the 500000 I think we need to have an increase in, in that. I, I agree with that. I, I, it's five hundred thousand dollars increase. Uh, well, I would need to say uh, three hundred thousand. Do we need to vote on? The, we have to vote on the first one. First, uh, vote on the amendment. Second. Vote on the amendment. Is second. We got a second vote. We got a motion. Do we have a second? We got a second, and this is on a three hundred thousand amendment. Do we have any further discussion on that? Mr. Price, <coughs> will the offset in this, will it generate any more revenue through the expansion of what we're doing? What do you see that this could do? In some areas it, it could potentially, but uh, most of this is going toward the upkeep capital. You know, we've got our tennis sports days replacing the rest of the school system. But, uh, it's just general upkeep, and it's not for salaries or anything, it's nothing for that. It's just the capital, and uh, you know, we've got 83 different buildings and, and structures that we maintain, and just trying to keep painted up, fixed up, plumbed up. What's, what's the city's responsibility in this? Uh, well, <coughs> the city's responsibility is, is to the tune of, a, of at least $2 million. My budget is two point, right, just under $2.3 million. So it's be two point one million dollars. And do you control just the city parks? Correct, sir. Yes. So any uh, further discussion? We're voting the amendment at three hundred thousand. All in favor? Let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Uh, any opposition? Aye. Uh, uh, let's do a roll call.
I just noticed on the list that I left off the coast of course. Okay. So um, the codes enforcement. Okay, codes compliance. And um,
Okay, um, if you guys are ready. Uh, this was this end on your sheet. I'll, I'll let, I'll let you. It's the code to find. One of only 300 mistakes I've made. Um, okay, codes, what, what we did, the change in the codes compliant basically was just we we reduced the compensation for the, for the position to $35,000. And um, so that would reduce the cost, the, the cost for the whole department, okay, the whole cost for the whole department to 58405 okay. That's the cost of the whole department. Right now that's, all right, it's code, it'd be code, in the budget it's code compliance. Okay. Okay. In the budget, yeah, and that was that's tab twelve, tab twelve. <coughs> and we'll get you a new sheet. So the whole department instead of thirty five is going to be fifty eight. No, no, it was in in the original in the original budget that was presented to you guys a month or so ago. It was seventy two thousand seven hundred forty two dollars for the whole department. Okay, we reduced that to fifty eight thousand four hundred five. It's no, it's not, been, not been, benefits. It's been, the, the thirty no, thirty five south thousand is gross wage, and then there's benefits and everything. The fifty eight thousand, the fifty eight thousand includes. Yeah, it includes um, it includes a a car allowance. It includes printing. It includes postage. It includes legal fees. It's the whole operation. Email. Is that going to be a separate department? In the budget, it is. It will be headquartered out of plan. And I'll supervise it. And you're going to supervise I'll supervise it. Okay. Why would I use a the card? Well, we don't have one available. So we would have to purchase one. Um, then you have to ask. Well, they're not going to use a camera car. You'll probably get one. You sure can get one with the sheriff's car and use it. We can give you one, too. One the old ones. Yeah. Give me one. Here you go. And then you have the. So it's $58,000. Yeah. What? History to base any revenue on to budget any revenue to offset it. But if they don't do anything, well, they don't do it. Yeah. if they don't do anything, they don't have a job. Okay. How, how, can, how do we monitor that? By the number of calls they make, by the number of uh, cleanups. I mean, we've, we've got some results. We've had some results in this year. What we wanted, no. Um, okay, now is this condition going to be county wide or just strictly for <coughs> That's your all. That's your all. I think that's part of our discussion is that we are going to fix that. Uh, I think we need to attach that as an amendment to this position here tonight. That this position is a county wide position, not a subdivision. Remove the subdivision problem. Do, but do do we do that when we I mean we need to review our property maintenance code. Understood. And so but if that be that would be the time. It needs to be county wide. You're talking outside the city though. Oh yeah. Yeah, just we just eliminating the subdivision to stretch law enforcement. But sure you make that. 
The problem, the problem I have with it, Bill, is that what are you going to do to them once they bring them up there? Mm -hmm. I've probably been sitting and watching. Well, that, that's why I was, this is my thought, okay, is, in, is that we expand the property maintenance. We, we expand the property maintenance board if we need to do that. I think that we see what, uh, we look at, at the city for a model, see what they do, see what the process is. They have some kind of board that reviews some of the some of their lines before they tear a building. Okay, just don't say like we're ready to uh dedicate that eight thousand four hundred five dollars. That's so we have the uh, information. No, but we I mean Tim, we we've got we've got a year under our belt under and we fine tune the system that we have. Is it perfect? No. But we've got to keep growing. And that's what this does, is it grows it. And I think when we come back this time next year, we'll see if we make progress. I think we can. And that's, that's my responsibility. Move forward with the code enforcement. Next step, strengthen our property maintenance and give some uh, credibility, some teeth. Yeah. That, this is just one step in the process. We're not, we're not done. This is just a step. <coughs> well, what was, the, what was the price of the city? You won't find that out. 35. At 35. Back to this thing on maintenance. They might want to look at the city about the maintenance. They're, they're in, they've been in a paper here a few weeks ago. They're in trouble because they tore a house down and they handled it all up. Now they've got $10,000 and a $2,000 lot. It was in a newspaper. They never saw it. We don't need to get maintenance. They lean on it. So, we have an amendment on the table. Yes, I make the motion we make that county wide, as Howard suggested. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you, Mr. Attached to the code enforcement office, then we leave for county wide and forth. Not just so. And remove the restriction of the uh, subdivision. I think if, if, to make it clearer, yes, if you say county wide, it makes me think of including I, I, the city. I'm sorry, outside and the city. So if you remove, if you remove the yes. subdivision restriction, I think that would be more proper. All right. So we want to make the motion that we fill the code compliance with the removal of the restriction of all the subdivisions that we expanded from beyond the subdivision. Do we have a motion? Do we have a second? We got a second. Any discussion? Let's vote the motion. All in favor? Let me know by saying aye. Just call if you have a question first. I just think you get the cart before the horse. I mean, it really did. Yes. We're already seeing it. We're already seeing it right up here in, in the zoning maintenance. Uh, this particular gentleman is bringing people in there, and what do we want to do? Turn around, ask him what do you want to do. You got to have your standards whatever you're having and like the city they got a judge they go before a judge right and we go we go before judge sign and right now you're running them before the board and then and looking at each board. other just twisting their hands and, and then they you know, move it from this lot to that lot and <laughs> and i agree with enforcement but i think you've got to have your you gotta have your, your standards, whatever you're gonna enforce. So, Scotty, you're saying to us you think we ought to hold off on the code enforcement office? I think we ought to until we go until we, until we, until we, until we have to decide what we're gonna do. Well, the penalty's gonna be. Well, the, in, the co in the code, in the, in the property maintenance code, there is a penalty. There's a $50 fine per day. <laughs> is this gentleman going to enforce it? Well, now it's up to the judge. <coughs> the judge to enforce the fine. Has there been a history of her enforcing it? We've gotten we've gotten some <coughs> some cleanups. Hey, okay, okay. The constables we had four to start out with that volunteered that said they were interested in it. Three showed up for the job. And after probably four or five months, two of them contacted the office and said they weren't interested in it. It was too much to do on part time. <coughs> so Tommy was the only one left. The new constables were not contacted. 
They didn't contact the office to ask if they could do code enforcement. They have to pick up the regulations. They have to review the regulations. Then they have to have a meeting on how they enforce the regulations. Because we had spoke about getting a code enforcement officer, we didn't start out with a new constable. So I have one part-time constable that's interested in doing that, which is Tommy McKinney. Because we don't have the staff in the office to take care of all these, right now, we resolved 42 cases for the 18-19. That's through all of 2018 and of 19. I have 36 open cases right now with a part-time person that's coming in once every two weeks. He's not been in for two weeks now. I have 14 or 15 that are complaints that are not in separate that we can't do anything with them because the regulation states they have to be in separate. Because we don't have anyone full time to do this, we can't really put fines and penalties because there's we can't do that in a part time. So I'm taking them to the property maintenance board as the first step to see if that board can help the office enforce this without having to go to court. Because if you go to court, that constable has to take the day off, which he's retired now, and pay him fifty dollars to sit in court all day long. We've had about four go to court. We have one pending right now that the judge is working on and she's giving him an extra 30 days to clean up the mess. Four have been cleaned up altogether that the property maintenance group wasn't able to fix. So this has been working. It's just a very difficult process because I don't have anyone to help with it. And the property maintenance, if you've read through it, has a lot of regulations that we can. And there are fines and penalties. I would like to get it to where they go to the property that would be able to put fines and penalties on them. If you had a partner full time, he would be able to be dedicated to do that. The part time, there's just there's not enough time for them to be able to do this. At least 48 cases. How much revenues? How many dollars are brought in? We don't bring in any money with us. We don't bring up any money, just cops. Because they're not fines, just asking for money. And they're they're going to move from one up. side of their lot to the other side of somebody else's property and call it plain and done. <laughs> well, what does the judge do? What's the judge not? The judge is going to ask them what do they want them to do, plain and done. Ask them what they want them to do. Well, what do we want them to do? <laughs> yeah, you know, the place where you want them to be satisfied. Well, when we get to the court, we can. We can't have the fines and penalties. How's this, how's this new, this code for it, how's he going to earn his keep? That's something that we will have to discuss at the time that we want to revisit the property maintenance regulations and make it that it's the county. We want to change the property maintenance of uh, the board and add more people to the board. Then maybe you can put in there how you collect more fees at that time. This, this is the next step. If, if, if we don't do this, we might as well do away with property maintenance. We have to have property maintenance. We get more complaints on that than we do any other. That and roads are the two biggest complaints. I believe it's just the first step. It's the, our, the next step. Do this, and then we can follow up with the uh, more harder regulations that they can't do. can, can, we have to. Yeah. Well, I agree. <clears throat> you have to. I agree. Then how are you going to do it? I agree. But this That's way, we have a code enforcement officer that can be a witness in court. He goes to the side and yeah. yeah. on point. He will be dedicated to do this. Yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll give us more credibility. Well, if we just, you know, we say, well, what revenue is it going to be here, whatever, but. In truth, the upside is getting these eyesores cleaned up. I mean, if we don't turn a nickel off of it, I mean, it's a small, to me, it's still a small, you know, it's a small price to pay to clean up the county. You know, it's, our share it's, it's Bobby, it's bigger than that, and I'm all about cleaning it up. You all heard me, but it's bigger than that. I mean, when you've got a piece of property that's condemned, just what he's talking about, Wayne said, Okay, and you've got a guy here that needs a trailer, needs to be condemned. This guy's saying 
trailer needs to be removed and be destroyed. The guy ain't got the money to do it. How does it get to resolve? That's the issue. What I'm trying to say. You gotta have. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna, you know, you want to be a dog, dog at bars? You want to be one of bots? So you're gonna have to do something. I agree. I agree. If you take one to court, you can find them. Fifty bucks, hundred bucks, and I broke. What do you do? Jail? Get more overcrowded? I agree. I, and from the very beginning, <coughs> that was what we said we were going to do: is put a committee together yeah. to get all those things ironed out before we, you know, brought it before uh, the commission. To I think that was brush and litter. That was this thing. That's not this. But the two are related. Yeah, so that's written in to have 12. Right? 